Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be doing some animation. We're going to be starting off with some keyframing in the timeline down here, showing you how to move them around, copy them, and how to create them, delete them, etc. Um, and first off, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the project. So let's go from right to left. So down here is the timeline. So we've got the uh, the render or like the play the play range here. So you can drag this about. You can type in a number here. So you can set the overall range to like a hundred, and it will clamp it down to a hundred. Um, we can do the same on this side. Um, let's put it up back. Uh, so if I play, you're going to see that it's playing as fast as it can. And we don't want that, or at least I don't, for animation. <laughs> so if we go down here, we've got play uh, real-time toggle. And that will play at real-time. I'll talk about these shortcuts in a minute. But basically, I'm just you can click that and it will it'll play. Go back. These are frame back and frame forward, which is um, you can hover over to see the, the shortcuts of. Here is play looping. So play once will not loop it, or won't go back to the start when it reaches the end. Play once, uh, that's what I was talking about, zigzag, will go to the end and come back. Uh, and then after that we have the audio panel, so if you're working with some VO you can stick some audio in here. And then finally we have the animation options, which includes the FPS start and end. So that's essentially what we were typing in here when I typed in the 100. And I'm going to set this to 25 FPS and close it and then we'll you'll see that a second in is 25 so every time it's marked it's a second let's use a pig head today switch up center this in the the scene by clicking h and if we go up here we can click alt and left click to keyframe and you can find all these up here so you've got uh not an expression in keyframe you've got set keyframe remove keyframe which is left control left mouse button uh, and you can step to keyframes. So if I go to a second in and keyframe again, I can do control left, control right, and this will go between our two keyframes, like so. Control up will go back to the start and control down will go to the end. I can't remember right, I said that in the last video, but it's, it's pretty important. So when you keyframe something, it will show you what it what it actually is. So we've got a Bezier curve here. This stuff is a lot easier to edit in the animation editor, but I'm not going to open that until next video. So if I toggle the keyframe like I did in the second video, the, the SOPS one, the one on extra SOPS, we can actually put like linear in here. But annoyingly, it doesn't change for both of them. So that's why I'm saying that we should do it in in the animation editor. So I'm just going to leave this at default for the minute. So that's what that is, if you're wondering. So I'm just going to talk about some cues for a second. So if I keyframe rotation now on this channel, you can see that since we only have one of these channels keyframed on the second in, it's gone a kind of darkish green. And that essentially just means that you have a bunch of channels keyframed, but one of them or more than one of them aren't keyframed here. And again, we can delete keyframes or we can control shift left mouse button to delete all of the channels, delete channels. So now how, how would I move these keyframes? So let's, let's set up a little animation for our guy. So let's rotate him 45 and let's just do a horrid animation here. <laughs> it's going to be really good. Oh yes. That's what I like to see. Okay, okay, I'm gonna turn off the grid. So as you can see, amazing animation. Let's talk about how to select these. So if we do shift and hold left mouse button and drag, we create a little box. And if I want to move this around, if I missed, missed a keyframe, if I was like, oh damn, I'm just blind and I, I missed all these keyframes, I can drag in the middle of this box over here and get all these. And if you're not very precise like me, if you do shift left mouse button again, drag this over, you're like, oh, I really just, I, I want these to be kind of fit snugly around it. You can right click and you can do E, which is snap keyframes to selection, um, which is 
esta. Really useful. And if I want to copy this, I can do Control C and I can either do a visual paste, which is my favorite kind of pasting um, for, for doing keyframes and stuff, because you actually get to see your keyframes. But in this version of Houdini that I have, it's broken. <laughs> so the shortcut is Shift V. So you should see keyframes within that box, but you only see the box now. So it's, important, it's more important than ever now to snap your keyframes to the selection because you can't actually see them. So if I go to a point and click, it's going to paste them in place over here. And I can just click delete on selected ones and it will delete them. Now I can also do copy and then if I just select here and then, you know, just, just click once basically. Do shift left mouse button here and then do control V. It's going to paste in place uh, your entire your selection. It will even take into account like padding and stuff like that on the start and the end. Now let's copy these. Do uh, E, visual paste. So shift V now. Um, and what I want to do now is I want to stretch these. So how do I do that? So I click E and then what you can do is you can middle mouse button drag on this box here. It used to be way more precise than this, but now you can just sort of middle mouse click anywhere in this box and it's very good. So there we go. Easy peasy. So actually might be a quite a short tutorial. Finally, if you're lazy like me, you can just click V with your copied keyframes and just paste them wherever. Just make the whole timeline green. Um, so that's probably going to do it for this tutorial. Quite simple and probably one of my favorite ways of manipulating the, the timeline. It feels really refined. Um, so if you guys have any questions, if I missed out anything, put them in the comments and I'll reply. See you in the next video.